Hi folks, Greg from Pilot Institute here, and today I want to show you 15 basic maneuvers that you can do with your drone if you've never flown before or if you just started so that it can challenge you a little bit. We're going to be using this controller right here, and some of the basic things that you need to remember is we have really four different controls right here, two on each side. If we look on the right side right here, if we go forward, on the stick, the aircraft is gonna go forward. If we go back, the aircraft is going to come back. Here, if we go left, the aircraft is going to yaw to the left, which means rotate around the uh, vertical axis, yaw to the right, and then here we can climb and descent. Once you know all four of these basic maneuvers, we're gonna start to combine them, either one at a time or two at a time in these maneuvers, so that we can accomplish something. Out of these 15 maneuvers, 10 of them are fairly basic. Five of them are going to lead to a more cinematic footage. So if you wanna get some cinematic footage, these are gonna be perfect for you. They're gonna to be towards the end, so let's get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to take off. Uh, this is not your first maneuver necessarily, it's part of your first maneuver. But for most drones, when you take off, you're going to bring these sticks on the inside, just like the down and inside on each side. And you notice that the propellers are rotating. Of course, you've done your pre-flight, you made sure that before you take off that nobody is around. And um, then we're going to add throttle using the left stick right here. So we're going to add power, and there you go. Our drone is taking off. And as it goes up, you notice I'm being very, very smooth on those controls. I'm just going to climb. And as we get to an altitude of right here is not bad, about 20 feet above the ground, then we're going to do our first maneuver, which is a straight line flight. So we're going to push on the right stick and then the drone is going to go away from us. Okay. And as the drone goes away from us right here, we're going to go for a little bit, keep sight, keep visual line of sight. And then when you're far enough, then we're going to do the same thing and we're going to come back. So right stick, we're going to move backwards on the right stick and you notice the drone is slowly coming back right here. So that's your first maneuver. This is as simple as it gets. You can basically just um, come back right on top of your landing spot and we're going to do the left stick and we're going to bring it down very, very gently. Now, chances are your drone, depending on your drone, okay, you may have landing protection, which means that as you get closer to the ground, the drone is going to uh, stop and then you're going to have to hold that, that, uh, that right stick until the drone fully lands right here. So I'm going to bring mine all the way down right here and there you go. First maneuver done. Let's move on to the next maneuver. Our next maneuver is called a vertical box. And what we're going to do is we're essentially going to do a rectangle just like that in a planned frame like this, okay? So we're gonna take off again, just like what we did on the previous one. We're gonna go up a little bit, and we can do all of this straight on top of our landing pad. All right, so once you're hovering right here, we're gonna do something very basic is the first thing, the first leg is we're gonna go to the right before we climb, go to the left, come back down, and then come back to our center point. So I'm going to go to the right using the right stick. I'm going to go right stick to the right, and we can do this for a little while. There's no specific distance that you want to use in this case. And then we're going to go up using the left stick. We're going to add more power and the drone is going to be climbing, climbing and climbing and climbing. Again, keep it within visual line of sight, whatever height you're comfortable with. And we're going to do the right stick again. We're going to go to the left, just like that. And then we're going to finish our rectangle. That's the top left corner of the rectangle right here. So we're going to descend just like this, descend, 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 and then right about to the same altitude that we started at. Now you can look at your screen and, and use those numbers if you wanted to, or you can just do it visually. And I'm gonna go back to the right and come back right on top of my landing pad. So that's a vertical box or a rectangular box, whichever way you wanna call it. And uh, there you go, you've done maneuver number two, congratulations. Okay, the next maneuver that we're gonna do is a tad bit more complex. So far, those two first maneuvers, we were using one stick movement at the time. Now we're going to combine two of them together. And what we're gonna do is we're going to climb and we're going to travel forward and climb at the same time. So we're gonna take off again. You've done this before. Take off right here, get off the ground, get about to maybe five or 10 feet, whatever you're comfortable with. And then from here, what we're going to do is a combo of forward and climb. Think about it in your head, combo of forward and climb. That's the right stick forward and the left stick forward at the same time. And notice what happens is as I'm doing this, 
This is a bit of a cinematic shot. It's kind of a reveal if you want. If you were more advanced, you could add some camera movement in there as well. We're not going to do that just yet. We're just going to keep doing this. Now you notice I'm looking at the drone as I'm flying. I'm also looking at my controller, but I'm also looking at the drone to make sure that, all right, well, I'm not interfering with traffic, make sure that nobody else is flying around me. Now I've gone far enough. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to come back. So we're going to go back on the right stick and down on the right stick. And that is going to bring our aircraft back and down. And again, we're going to be keeping an eye on the drone, keeping an eye on traffic. And I'm going to try to come back exactly at the same spot. Okay, make it nice and smooth. And now you have two different controls at the same time that you're using. And there we are. We are back to our starting sp spot, about the same altitude. And uh, this is it. This is it for maneuver number three. We're going to come back and land and we'll move up to maneuver number four. The next maneuver is where we introduce the concept of reverse flying or reverse sensing or reverse controls, whichever way you want to call it. This is what I call it, reverse control. The right stick and the left stick, everything is based on the direction of the nose of the uh, aircraft, which means that if we go and fly and we turn around and we come back, then our controls are going to be reversed. And this can be confusing at first to people. So let's try this. We're going to take off. We've done this before. and then. We're going to get up in the air and we're going to go forward. So we've done that in a previous maneuver. Maneuver number one, we went forward uh, with the right stick. So I'm going to go forward with the right stick. Now you notice if I push on the right stick and I go to the left, then the aircraft, the entire aircraft is shifting to the left. And same thing here. If I shift to the right, the entire aircraft is shifting to the right. Let's go forward a little bit more. And then we're going to turn around 180 degrees. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use the left stick. And here we are yawing to the left until we can face ourselves right here in a little production. Here we are. All right. And as we get here, what we're going to do is we're going to go forward. But at the same time, I want you to use the stick and go to the left. Let's put our stick or right stick. Let's move it to the left. Now you notice what happens. Our drone is moving to the right. Now, if you look at it from this screen right here, from the, from the camera, it's normal. It moves to the left, which is because, well, it's all based on what the screen is looking. It's all based on the nose of the aircraft. If I go to the right right here on the right stick, to me, it's moving to the left, but to the camera, it's moving to the right. So this is reverse sensing. This can be confusing. If you're flying using visual line of sight and you're looking straight at the drone, then what happens is you might get confused because as I move my stick to the right, the aircraft moves to the left, to my left. If I move my stick to the left, the aircraft moves to my right. So we have to make sure we get that right. So forward is also confusing because now forward brings the aircraft closer to us, closer to us. If I push on, if I, if I pull on this uh, right stick, then the aircraft is going further away from us because it's all based on the nose of the aircraft. If you ever get confusing with this, take a look at the screen. Take a look at the screen and then the, uh, the, the controls on the screen in itself are not reversed. So that makes it a little bit easier to remember. Now we're going to come back and we're going to land. Here's a good habit that I have for landing. When I'm landing, I like to have normal sensing on the controls. Not because I can't fly reverse sensing, but just because it's a good habit to have. You're getting closer to the ground. So I'm going to rotate the aircraft all the way to the left here, 180 degrees. Now it's facing in the same direction that I'm looking, so I can come back and essentially land my drone safely right here, having normal controls. Especially if you're brand new, this is really something that you want to be doing uh, as, a good, as a good habit. All right, the next maneuver is S-turn. What we're going to do is we're going to do like a snake uh, pattern. If you look at it from the top, we're going to be doing a snake like this. So first thing is we're going to do is we're going to take off. We've done this before. And let's get to our altitude of about 10 feet like we've done before. Whatever altitude you're comfortable with, okay? Actually, I'm going to stay right here, about 10 feet, okay? And on this one, because we're going to be snaking, it's going to be a combination of two different controls, forward and right on the right stick. So if I go forward and right a little bit like this, then I continue going forward, but now I put a little bit of left stick as well. So forward and left stick on the right side. And again, forward and then right stick on the right side. 
So my forward uh, movement is always the same. My forward movement is always the same. And you can do this as many times as you want, as long as you have room and as long as you can see the aircraft. It's a good practice. It's a good practice to be smooth with the right stick. We're going to do the same and we're going to come back. I'm going to go back and then some left on the right side, back and left. And then we're going to do back and right. And then we're going to do back and left again. And we're just snaking our way through all the way here, all the way back to our landing spot. And as we get closer to our landing spot right here, look at that. Beautiful. Right on top of the landing spot, we're going to come back and land using the left stick. We're going to get back onto our landing pad. Okay, the left maneuver is the rectangular course, the rectangular pattern. This, I'm not going to lie, I took from my training as a main aircraft pilot. Uh, this is one of the maneuvers we've been teaching for a very long time. And what we're going to do is, if you look at it from the top, we're going to be doing a rectangular course, a rectangular pattern. It's not the same as what we did on the vertical plan before, where we did this vertical uh, or this rectangle on the vertical plan. Now we're doing it from the top view. So um, it's fairly simple. We're going to be using the right stick. We're going to make it more complicated in the future. But just for right now, we're going to take off. We're going to get off the ground to about our 10 feet right here. Okay. And then once you're at about 10 feet, then we're going to go using the right stick. We're going to go to the right. All right. Go to the right, go to the right. Now you can go as long as you want. If you have cones, set them up. Set four different corners on the ground using red cones. Or if you're just at the park like I am today, just do this with a visual. Uh, what matters is that you understand what these controls are doing. Next thing is we're going to go forward, forward for a little bit. And as we get to the top right of our rectangle, then we're going to go to the left. Left, uh, right stick to the left, right stick to the left. We're going to keep going to go to the top left of our rectangle. There we are. And then now I'm going to use the right stick to go back. And once we're a beam our uh, landing pad right here, then I'm going to go to the right. And then I should be ending up right on top of my uh, landing pad pretty much more or less. I'm a little bit further right here. But you notice I never really use the left stick. I didn't even have my finger on it, just so you can see that, you know, this is not involved. And when you're done, you can land. Now here's, uh, if you want to take this to the next level, if, if this is too simple for you, rotate the aircraft 180 degrees so it faces you. And then once you have that, now do the rectangular pattern with reverse control. Now I would have to go to my right, which means left stick right here, just like that. And then now I would have to go further away from me, which means back, the back of the drone, so right stick would go back. So now your, your controls are reversed. I'm not going to do it, but you can practice this. This is a good way to take this maneuver to the next level. Okay, in this next one, we're going to take the rectangular course that we just did, and we're going to add another level of complexity, uh, because now we're going to round up the corners. So if this is the nose of the aircraft here, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to churn and the nose of the aircraft is always pointing in the direction in which the aircraft is going. So at one point, we're going to end up over there on the top left corner of the maneuver. And that is going to create a reverse sensing situation or reverse control situation. So I'm going to take off just like we did before, get to my 10 feet right here. And once I'm at 10 feet, I'm going to orient the nose of the aircraft in the direction of travel. So this is 90 degrees to the right, 90 degrees to the right. I'm using the left stick, turning to 90 degrees to the right. And now I'm going to go forward to do the, the, the bottom right base of our rectangular course. I'm going to go forward, forward, forward for a little bit. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our aircraft to the left, just like that, 90 degrees. And then now we're going to go forward to do our rectangular. So now I'm going to the top right corner of the rectangular course. Once I'm right here, I'm going to turn left 90 degrees. And again, this is all visual. We're trying to make sure that we are pointing in the right direction. This is helping you get a better sense of situational awareness of your drone and the, and the rotation and the location of the drone. So now I'm going to go forward. We're going to go to the top left corner of our rectangular course. Once we're right there, then we're going to turn to the left 90 degrees using the left stick. And then now we're going to go forward, 
forward right here, forward, forward, forward. Now you notice I'm using the forward stick, the right stick forward, even though it's reverse sensing. Now I have to turn to the left, so I'm going to yaw to the left using the left stick. And then we're going to finish our maneuver right here, beautifully on top of our landing pad. And this is it, that concludes it. Now, if you want to add another layer of complexity to this maneuver, which you can, all right, this is the, uh, the star level, the next level, you can do these corners nice and rounded. So as we go forward, let's, let's do it together here. As we go forward, we're going to get to that corner right here, and I'm going to start yawing, but you notice I'm also still going forward at the same time. So I'm doing a nice little rounded corner just like that, okay? And then we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna go to the end of the top uh, right corner of our rectangular course, and I'm gonna use the yaw. Yaw, but you notice my right stick is still moving forward. My right stick is still moving forward, and now I'm yawing to the left at the same time. Did you see that? It's nice and smooth, we never stop. We always keep moving forward. My right hand is stuck on the forward movement. It's stuck on the forward movement. I'm not changing that speed because that's what gives me my forward speed. And right here I get to that other corner and I'm gonna round it up nicely, just like that. A little bit of left stick to the left. I'm still going forward on my right stick and then we're gonna finish the maneuver. You get the idea. I want you to practice doing that and, um, and then uh, we're gonna move to the next maneuver. Okay, so the next maneuver we're gonna do is very similar to the vertical box, except this time we're gonna do a triangle. And this is actually a bit harder than you might think. So let's go through it. We're going to take off right here. And as soon as we're off the ground, we're gonna to get to about 10 feet. This is typically what we do, right? Gonna to get to our 10 feet right here. And the first one is very simple. We're gonna do our base. We're gonna do our base to the right. So we're gonna to go to the right, just like this. And now we're at the bottom right corner of our triangle. Okay, bottom right corner of our triangle right here. And now we have to go up like this. So let's think about those controls. We have to go up with the aircraft on the left side, left and up, and then the right stick is gonna to go to the left at the same time. So this is a concerted effort. You're going to do this. Left stick goes up, right stick goes right. Just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing going on the other side. Now, on the other side, we're going to go right stick down because we need to descend, and also we need to go sideways. So right stick down and sideways, just like that as we come down. I want you to do this without stopping in between. I stopped because I was telling you what to do, but I want you to do it in all one swooping move so that you can practice. So I'm gonna do it again without stopping. I'm gonna to go to the right. Once we get up there, I'm gonna start climbing and I'm gonna start moving to the left at the same time, just like that. As I get to the top right here, I'm transitioning from climbing to descending, just like that. And then from here, we're gonna come back and go to the right again. So this should be all one big swoop, very quick, not very quickly. You don't have to go fast. I just want, don't want you to stop once you get comfortable. Do it a couple times and then get to that level. Let's move to the next maneuver. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to try to follow a road, try to find a straight road. Quite frankly, if there's curves, it's even better because it's gonna give you more practice. For right now, we're gonna start with a straight road right here. And we're going to try to go parallel to the road and maybe there would be a car right here. I don't want you to practice chasing cars just yet, okay? Uh, do this safely, just follow the road for now and understand the controls because we're gonna be moving sideways. So right stick, we're gonna go sideways. So right stick goes to the left in this case, we're gonna go up to the left. And then we'll make minor corrections because what happens is, notice my yaw right here. If I yaw a little bit too much to the left, what do you think is gonna happen when I start going sideways? I'm gonna get further away from the road, right? If I'm too far on the right, we're like this. If I go sideways, I'm gonna get closer to the road, which we need to control. You have two chances, two ways to control this. You can control it using the yaw, which I would recommend, or you can also control it using the right stick, the forward and the back. As you're getting closer to the road, you may wanna get further away from the road. Let's practice, let's actually practice being bad, okay? I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go and, uh, and be a little bit too much to the right, a little bit too much to the right. So as I start going sideways, what happens is I'm getting too close to the road. I notice it, I'm getting too close to the road. I can also see there are trees from right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start yawing to the left. I'm gonna start yawing to the left to correct it, try to be smooth. And then I'm gonna do this until I feel like I'm no longer getting close to the road. 
You notice this? I'm no longer getting close to the road, and then now I can go sideways. There's no problem there. And then if I did it too much, I'm still getting a little bit close to the road here. Let's say I overcorrected like this. Now I'm getting further away from the road as I'm going sideways. So now I would use, again, my yaw to bring the aircraft back into play. Now you notice as I'm doing this, it's like I'm almost doing a rotation around that table. That's one of the maneuver that you're gonna do next when you get a little bit more comfortable is a little bit of an orbit around that table. That was not intended, but this is what happened. Now, if I keep rotating that here, I'm just gonna yaw to the left so you can see the rest of this park. You notice this road right here kind of curves. If I get closer to it, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna get closer to it, and I wanted to follow the road, then I would have to do a combination of yaw using the left stick and also of my right stick. So my right stick goes to the side, just like that, not too fast. And then I'm gonna start yawing to follow the curve of the road. Now there's a car coming. We're gonna wait a few seconds here. I see the car, I'm gonna see it in my, there it is. Now I'm gonna to try to go sideways and follow the car, just like that. And then if I get too close to the car, then I'm gonna start going sideways, just like that. Okay, keep an eye on the drone at all time when you do this, because there are trees in this park. It's pretty open, but there are trees and we wanna make sure that we can, um, well, make sure that we don't hit anything. All right, the next maneuver is kind of what we just talked about in the previous one, which is our orbit. You have a table right here in the middle of the field. I'm gonna bring the camera down. We haven't really talked about the camera all that much yet because I want you to get comfortable with these controls first before we get to the camera. Uh, but the camera here, there's a wheel in the back and I'm gonna bring it down just so that table is right on that little cross on my screen, okay? So it's right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using, uh, I wanna do an orbit looking at the screen to the left. Now on my drone here, it's gonna to be to the right. My drone is gonna be moving to my right, but left on my screen. You can see us in the back here sitting at the table. So as I do this, I'm gonna go sideways. But the problem is as I start going sideways, well, I'm losing my table. That makes sense. If I wanted to do an orbit around this, I would have to use a little bit of a left stick right here to the right, because I wanna bring the nose of the aircraft like this back on the table. So I'm gonna do a combo of both. I'm gonna bring the right stick to the left, the left stick to the right, and let's see how we can do this. Start slow, start slow. You notice my cross hatch right here on the screen? If it goes too far to the right of the table, it's because I'm putting too much right yaw, so I just let go a little bit. The one thing that I'm not doing is I'm not overcorrecting by going fully to the left. I'm just reducing the amount of yaw that I'm putting in. And I'm gonna to try to make it as smooth as I can for you guys, just like that. And now you're doing an orbit around your table. And once you have it, keep it there. Don't, don't make any changes. Your fingers should be not moving at all. Tiny, tiny little adjustment. You notice I'm too far right to the table. I'm being picky. I'm too far right to the table. Then I'm gonna let go of my left stick a little bit. There you go. And I'm back on it. I'm not making this. I'm not doing left stick, right stick. Do you see how jerky this is? This is not something that we wanna do. So in this case, there you go. Nice and smooth. We're gonna stop and we're gonna go the opposite direction. I'm gonna bring my table back into the frame right here and I'm gonna to go to the right with my right stick and to the left with my left stick. Just like this. Get the movement going, a little bit of yaw, and then you can go faster. If you wanna go faster, then you go faster on the right stick, but you also have to go faster on the left stick at the same time. So here, I'm gonna to try to slowly increase my speed. Just like that. You see, we're going faster. I'm going faster, but I'm also putting more yaw at the same time. And I'm keeping my table right into the picture. Now, there's a bit of a trick in here that we haven't talked about, is eventually, if you keep doing this, you may or you may not get further away from your object. So you'll have to use the right stick to move forward. It gets a bit more complicated because now you're using three movements of sticks and I didn't want to do this in this basic maneuvers, but that's something that you can do. If you start to get too far away from your, uh, from your object and then use the right stick to go for closer or further away. So we're done now with the 10 first basic maneuvers. That should really help you get an understanding of these controls. The last five maneuvers, what I wanna do is I wanna give you some cinematic shots. And the first one is going to be what I call a reveal, a forward and a reveal. So we're going to take off and as we go forward, we're gonna bring the camera down and we're gonna slowly reveal the camera just like this. And we're just gonna keep moving forward. So right stick is gonna go forward and then 
the camera, we're going to bring all the way down and then we're going to slowly bring it back up. You can also, if you're comfortable with this, add another layer to it and then do a climb as well. This is a bit more advanced, so maybe when you're more comfortable you can do this. But let's take off and then let's go up in the air right here. And you're simply going to bring your camera all the way down. So that little gimbal in the back right here of your controller. Now, I'm not going to bring it to all the way to 90 degrees down because I think that's a bit too much. I'm going to bring it to about um, 60 degrees right here. I found that if you bring it all the way down, it takes a long time to come up. It doesn't look nearly as good. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go forward. And as we go forward, I'm going to climb a little bit more here. We're going to go like right here. And I'm going to go forward. And then I'm going to start to reveal and bring my camera up using my gimbal. And then now I'm putting some gimbal in it and then see what, what's going on here is that we're revealing what is going on right in front of us. And then when you're done, there you go, slowly let go of the wheel and reveal. Now you don't want to end up right in the middle of the screen. I went a little too far up. This is probably where I would want it. Have our, our horizon line right on the two third of the screen. Uh, but that's how you would do it. You can do it backwards as well. You can go backwards and then bring the gimbal down as you go backwards, just like this. That's also one way to do it if you want to end a video or something, or if you wanted to reverse that footage eventually uh, in post, you can also do that. So, um, but this is, uh, this is just a simple reveal. Like I said, we can also do this and at the same time, we can uh, start climbing or descending and that's really going to make it look uh, nice and, and cinematic. Okay, for this next maneuver, what I want to do is I want to do a corkscrew effect on top of a cool object. The only cool object we have right now is this table that's nice and easy to, uh, to recognize on the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right on top of it, okay? I want you to use your controls to go right on top of it. I'm going to climb a little bit as well just to be right on top of that table. Now you're going to need to bring the, the gimbal down at the same time. So bring your gimbal to 90 degrees. It needs to be facing all the way down, all the way down right here and then I'm going to go forward. You can do this as fast or as slow as you want but as long as you get right on top of that table that's all I care about. Here's our table. I'm going to climb a little bit. I have my camera set to auto which I usually wouldn't do but um, if I'm doing a cinematic shot but for right now it makes it easier for me because I'm talking at the same time. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to climb. I'm going to climb. I'm going to climb and I'm going to stay right here. Okay so it's in frame right now and what we're going to do is we're going to climb and we're going to rotate at the same time. So on the left stick, everything is going on on the left stick right here. We're going to climb and rotate, climb and rotate as we go up. And this will give us a beautiful shot. Look at that. Climb and start to yaw. I'm going to start to yaw to the left or to the right. Doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. And as we do this, we're climbing up and climbing up and revealing this beautiful picnic table right here. Okay. Keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. And then you can do this as fast, as slow as you want. I recommend that you go slow and smooth and you can always speed it up in post if you wanted to. But this is going to give us a beautiful effect, uh, especially if you have other things that you want to reveal in that area. And this is very simple. You notice only one stick. We move it up and then we move it to the top left or the top right and then you have the whole thing. You can do the same thing coming down. You can go bottom right or bottom left as you come down and it's going to do exactly the same thing in the opposite direction. So. It's up to uh, the kind of effect that you want to put in. But uh, I'm going to keep coming down and then we're going to move on to the next maneuver. Okay, the next maneuver that we're going to do is a zoom out or a reveal, whatever you want to call it. But you can see us in the frame right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move backwards and up at the same time. So this is very simple. We're going to climb. So we're going to use the left stick up and we're going to go away from us, meaning backwards on the right stick right here. So I'm going to pull this stick down. So you just do this. You're looking at your... Uh, subjects and you do just like this. Right stick down, left stick up and we're going to reveal the area in which we are. Now you can do a combo if you want to climb faster then you just do more throttle and then you're going to start to climb faster. If you feel comfortable you can even move the gimbal at the same time and it's going to reveal our beautiful background right here. You can even add a rotation at the end if you want, a little bit of a yaw to reveal what's in the back, which is a beautiful lake. Now keep an eye on your altitude. Here we're good up to 400 feet. Uh, I'm starting to see the drone being a bit smaller. So we're just going to come back and you can do it the opposite direction as well if you want. Forward on the right stick and then down on the left stick and then that's going to bring you back. It's really up to you whatever effect you want to do. So let's move on to the next maneuver. 
Okay, the next maneuver that we're gonna do is called a yaw and reveal. Now this is kind of an interesting one. We're not going to be moving forward or sideways, so the right stick is not really gonna be used in this case. All we're gonna do is we're going to yaw using the left stick, so that's left and right on the left stick. And then we're going to use the gimbal to reveal an area. So right now you're looking at us, maybe there is something to the right side of this camera that we want to be uh, revealing. So we're gonna go and yaw to the right and at the same time I'm bringing my camera up. So this is a combination of those two, just like that. Just like that, just like that. Now my battery warning is starting to pop up. We're gonna put a new battery and we're gonna do the next maneuvers, but I just wanna finish this one just so you can see. You see how it's a nice reveal? I'm not using the right stick at all. I'm just revealing the area around us right here, and that's about it. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, this next maneuver, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow an object. Now, this is something that you can do automatically on some of the drones, but I want you to be able to do this on your own. Now, it gets more complex. This is the last maneuver, so we're gonna put kind of everything that we've learned in these uh, different maneuvers that we did, did earlier, and, uh, and then we're gonna put this together. So, as Jason is gonna walk away from us, we're gonna try to keep a certain distance from him. And you notice here, I'm using my right stick, and I'm also using my yaw from what we learned before. Now he's too far ahead, so I'm gonna yaw a little bit more to the left, and then now he's a little bit too close. Now, I'm also looking at my drone at the same time to make sure that I'm keeping the same distance from Jason. Now, I missed him because I was talking and looking, so I'm gonna to try to catch up, go a little bit faster right here, catch up to him. I'm also gonna climb a little bit because I'm pretty low, and then just like that, I'm gonna do a nice sideways tracking. If he were to uh, come a little bit closer to my drone, then I would also have to do that. I would have to start moving a little bit further away using my yaw. I'm using my yaw here. I'm going a little too fast, so I'm gonna slow down. And then Jason is gonna head back into the opposite direction. So there he is. And then I don't, I'm getting too close. So now I'm gonna move back a little bit. So you notice I'm talking pretty fast with all these because this is all that's happening in my head. I'm analyzing what Jason is doing and I'm following him and trying to keep that same distance. This will take some practice. Um, this is the perfect combination of controls in order to put everything we learn at play. So this is your last maneuver. I want you to think about, uh, if you like these maneuvers, we have two courses actually that might be of interest to you. The first one is a 50 maneuver course. We've had this course for several years now. It has 50 maneuvers, including a few of these, but a lot of new ones, where we're gonna take you from a one-star maneuver, which is very basic, all the way to a much more complex maneuver where you have five different controls at the same time. And yes, these are very challenging. We also have a course on NIST. NIST is a government agency that created a bunch of different uh, maneuvers that you can do to get better at flying your drone. This is also a course that we have available. So head out to pilotinstitute.com. And then in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and then we'll see you guys for the next video.